All right, what's up everyone? Today, we're back with another video. Uh, last time, we talked about the init method, and uh, I have that right here already. And if you haven't seen that video, watch that video to help you out a lot in this one. Today, what I wanna talk about is the call method. It's a dunder call method. You can see it over here, like last time. We got the um, what we're gonna build over here on our left. We're gonna try and expand upon uh, the manager class a little bit and uh, you'll see how we do that it's a bit advanced but I think you'll follow along just fine so what the call method is essentially turns your class or your object of the like because as we learned from last time uh, the class is just the blueprint to build an object so what it actually does with the call method is it makes your object act like a function essentially it lets you call upon your object so we'll start off with a super simple example, but what we're hoping to make today is uh, sort of like um, a way to keep track of people's pay a bit simpler or a bit more effective or efficient. So anyways, we'll get into it. You'll see what I mean in a bit. So over here on the right, um, as you saw before, we have the init method, right? So the call method, you'll is formatted uh, similar but you just pass in any parameters if it was a function but you still need to pass in self so oh, let me just I don't know what I'm doing there um, I'm gonna put in hours worked right so we'll just put pass in a number very easily um, so for now what I'm gonna do is just simply return We'll print it. We'll print uh, the hours worked, and then we'll just return them. So you'll get a, a good idea here. Okay. So uh, pay equals pay. So as always, that first initialization is going to happen with the init. So we're calling the init like we learned in the last video. So let's just pass in an hourly wage. So um, for this person or for this instance we'll just do 15 15 dollars and then um uh okay so 15 dollars and then what we'll do is to use the actual um call method you literally just treat the object remember this part the left side here that's the object we've created right so we're calling upon the object here let me just make it a little easier pay test so we're literally going to call upon the the object we've created and just pass in how many hours that person's worked. Eight, right? And when we run this, we'll see eight comes up. So, and it's printing out twice because we're printing it here and here. You'll see if I erase that just one time. So you can see how it's just passing in as if the object is a function. Now, how can that be beneficial? Well, you can see over here on the left that we can sort of start keeping track of things if we want, right? So we can we can say, hey, let's put in, um, and remember, these are class attributes, generally good for things that are just going to be hard coded in. Like, for example, in this case, we're starting off at zero, so we might as well just hard code in zero and leave it up top there. And then you'll see that the class method now, what we're going to be doing is uh, like tallying up the hours worked, tallying up the total pay for this person. Now you could take this exponentially further. You could start adding in like time period that they're paid. Um, you can add in maybe even like uh, pay periods or something like, like per month, how much they're getting paid, year bonuses, blah, blah, blah. It's endless. You could just add as much stuff as you want. And I guess the idea with this class is going to be that it all keeps the information contained in this one unit. And it's just really, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to work with in a sense. So you'll see here that now what we're going to be doing is keeping track of this. And you might think, well, how do, how do we get access to that? Just like we learned before, that's just going to be a, um, an op, like an attribute so that we can just call upon that eventually too. So you'll see over here, I'll bring this all in. So you can see we're starting off. We're telling it like, hey, this this um, pay uh, object is an hourly wage of 15. And then we keep, so we'll see 
off the first one. I'll clear this for you. You see down here, we're just going to go through and we're going to see that, okay, everything's zero. The pay, the total hours is zero. And you see how we're just calling the object like we've done before, right? It's nothing, it's nothing different there. The only thing that's getting changed with this class attribute or the call attribute, sorry, is every time we're now allowed to actually call and use our use our um, our object as a function so you can see how we keep just adding that eight hours so this is the parameter eight hours work and you can see how we're just adding up the total hours right just keep tallying it up and then the total pay is just going to be the hours worked right plus the hourly wage which we instantiated over here so we're calling self again like we learned in the last video and just and um, passing in the parameters, right? So now, and then we're at, finally, it, it as a function does, it returns a value. So finally, then we're just re gonna pick um, however much we got paid that particular time, right? So, I mean, you can see here, like um, first week, second week, third week down here, it's just adding up the numbers. Um, now, where else you may wanna use this? Back to our manager class that we have over here, what you can actually do is, and this is a bit advanced, this is what I was talking about, how it can get a little advanced here. Um, inside the actual class manager, what we can do is you'll see that we're saying, hey, there's a pay attribute inside the manager, and we're going to set that to the class. So this is a class inside of a class, essentially, will attach to an attribute. And now you can see down here, we're saying, hey, michael.pay. So we're almost treating it like a method inside the class, but what we're doing is we're saying, hey, this is actually a separate class, but it's acting and, and interacting as if it's a, um, uh, a function. So you can still start it with values and it's still gonna have values contained within it. So it's a, it's a great way to, and again, this is quite advanced. I will definitely have another video for this topic, but just to get your guys, give, give you guys some ideas on how and where you can use this. And it's, it's, um, it's, it can be very useful. So anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, thank you for watching.